Hello, it is me, Moist Andy. And as you can see, we're just chilling in a parking lot once again. So today, I have a couple things to show you. We got this, this nice, nice, big old can of fish. Look at this fish right here, man. I, I love it. It's got these omega-3s. This is good for you. This is how you do your thing. It's just a 12 ounce can of fish. It's good enough for lunch for me. So, I want to give you the, the tangles today. The ASMR tangles. I'm sure you would really enjoy it if I tingle you with this this here apparatus for for, for just just you know getting right into there and, and getting this opened up. Mm. Oh yeah, it's the starkest. Oh yeah, this is good stuff here. This is good fish. I don't want to spill the fish in my car. It kind of stinks a little bit. So, what I shall do? This is so it is. Ha 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 ha. This, this, this fish is a juicy, a juicy one. And you just have to spill it on the ground. Ha ha. Oh gosh, it, it smells beautiful. <laughs> Need to open up a little more. Buenissimo. All right. So this is a chunk light tuna, and I'm just I'm just gonna spill out a little more of the the brine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this one. Ha 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 ha. That's, that's pretty good, you know. I don't want it to be too dry. So th this is the, uh, the finished article, as you can clearly see. Today, we'll, we'll just go on a little journey into the lifestyle of a pescatarian being a fish eater just a, f a fish guy you know I'm the fish guy I like to eat a lot of nice nasty big old juicy uh, stinky fish like this, this chunk light tuna it's it's pretty good it, I swear it Oh, it's so fragrant. It's, it's just a nice fish. Mmm. A nice bite of fish. Look at this one, man. Here, have some fish. Mmm. It tastes like the ocean. It's just a nice canned seafood. Mmm. How wonderful it is to enjoy after work just a nice little kind of like a brunch except it's between lunch and dinner just something after lunch time because you know I skip my lunch I skip my lunch man it's because I'm never that hungry so right now I'm hungry I would love to have 12 ounces of tuna it's plenty of protein for me to enjoy mm. oh. this is good it's good to be a pescatarian it's good to just eat a lot of fish I'm like a seal or a penguin. I'm just that, that strange bearded man, like a, a old wrinkly ass fish man.
I just want to go out into the city and cast out my net and get a bunch of sardine. I want a bunch of mackerel. Give me a whole lot of herring and I will never go hungry ever. It's, it's good. It's very nice. To use fish as one of your main sources of protein, seafood. Not only fish, but you know, can, canned oysters, like a smoky oyster, this is a good one. I really enjoy it. And also, mejones, mussels. Go to Penn Cove in Washington State and get a big old bowl of boiled up mussels, and you can drink the broth. Despite what some people say, if you get a bowl of mussels, Drink the broth. It won't. It won't make you sick at all. It's. It's really uh, flavorful. You'd be missing out if you wasted it. Yeah, you know, chopped clams. It's good. Put like two of those little cans of chopped clams into a, a pre-canned, you know, clam chowder, and kind of juice it up a little bit. Give it a little bit more protein. Cause they, they don't put much clams in those things, man. It needs to have a little bit more clams. Get that fish taste. The pungent fish odor. Oh, it's this tuna. Mmm. There is nothing wrong with this one. Starkest, very affordable. I would rate it 7 out of 10 stars just because it's it's got that flavor I'm looking for it's got that nice protein high quality proteins it's very low in sodium as you can see 180 milligrams per serving so there's four and a half servings so four and a half times 180 what is that that's like 72, 720 milligrams. That's less than half of your daily allowance. So really, you could you could vibe with that low sodium diet. Just get you some Starkist. The Starkist, the Chunk Light. Mmm. So what other, what other types of seafood I like? Baby squid, chupito. I like that one to fry it up. I catch a lot of catfish in the summertime. Now the Potomac River is a very muddy tasting flesh of the catfish. And it's nice to grill it up or to fry it or cook it in a stew. You can do as you please. Mmm. It's so fishy. Mmm. There's something really fishy going on here. As you can clearly tell, I am enjoying this nice, nice can of very cheap, affordable, protein rich fish. Mm. You know, honestly, if you're just eating protein, there's no sugar whatsoever. You really don't need any fiber in a meal like this. All you need is just, this is all you need. It's a complete meal, in my opinion. Like, I'm not going to be hungry for six hours after this. And I didn't even have any carbs. So if you're having some insulin resistance, come on, get, get some of this chunk light. It's pretty important for you 
don't want to get all diabetic. Mmm. Wow. It's, it's a savory, really, really pungent, sharp fish odor. It's the tuna. Ain't nothing wrong with a can of tuna. Mmm. You know, it's, it's the on-the-go stuff. Take it anywhere you want to. And enjoy. Mmm. So, in a nutshell, you just gotta get you chunk light, and you be all set, man. Ready to go. Just pop up in a can of this stuff. Mmm. And shout out to the guy in the comments who counted how many bites of fish I just ate. That's dedication right there, too. To be uh, one of my subscribers and to do something funny like that in the comments. I like seeing funny stuff in the comment section, man. So, you know, I just got finished working at the pet store and, and we're just chilling. And uh, I gotta drain this out, so I don't want it to spill all over the car. There's some really uh, stinky stuff here. Okay, I hope you enjoy some of this ASMR with Moist Dandy. And please subscribe to my channel. And make sure you leave a comment as well. I would really enjoy hearing your feedback. So thank you and bye bye. And have a, a happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Bye bye YouTube.